Hello and welcome to our channel. Here's Tudor and in today's video I would like to talk about uh, top 10 skills which an engineer must have in 2020. As an introduction I could say that unfortunately technologies are changing so rapidly uh, that today's cutting edge developments will be old news by tomorrow. So, how do an engineer uh, in various fields keep up in such a mercurial environment? Engineering is a domain where one's training never ends, even after years of professional schooling. Uh, developing a set of technical, critical and uh, soft skills is critical for keeping up uh, with the latest engineering developments. So, the first skill you need to have if you want to be a successful engineer is computer science fundamentals. Uh, learning computer science fundamentals um, and programming is, is not uh, just for computer science engineering grants anymore. All engineers uh, should devote some time to learn computer technology, even though studying fluid uh, power or mechanical engineering. An engineer should be familiar with data structures algorithms, and computer memory manipulation to be ready for any engineering career. Engineers uh, should consider participating in programming hackathons and practice problems to improve uh, their IT skills. The next skill in our top 10 is data modeling. This skill helps engineers estimate data sets underlying structures to identify useful patterns. It also helps in identifying correlations between data, data clusters, and uh, so on, which can be used in order to uh, detect anomalies uh, and regressions. One key aspect of data modeling is continual um, evaluation uh, of uh, given models' integrity using classification or regression measures. This is often combined with strategies uh, such as split testing and randomized cross-validation uh, to identify errors, tweak the model and apply algorithms. So the third skill, and uh, on my opinion very important, is uh, probability and statistics. Uh, the field of probability and statistics is uh, closely entwined with machine learning algorithms. These algorithms, when applied with various statistical parameters such variance, uh, median, and mean, can remove data uncertainties. Um, using a blend of these techniques, engineers uh, can build and validate variable models from observed data. In essence, machine learning algorithms uh, are extensions of statistical data modeling uh, procedures. So the next skill on our list is system design. This skill uh, lets engineers understand uh, how small components fit into a larger system of products and services. Creating a system uh, of component interfaces where uh, each piece connects uh, and communicates with the other via database queries, library calls, uh, and uh, requires an intelligent system design. A carefully articulated design prevents bottlenecks and lets algorithms handle varying volumes of data. System design is backed uh, by software engineering best practices that include requirements gathering, version control, testing modularity, and documentation. So on our list, it follows the leadership and management skill. It's the fifth skill, and in my opinion, it's very, very important to be a good manager. There is also a, pro a proverb that says, uh, in order to be a good engineer, you need first to be a good manager. Taking more responsibility and preparing to eventually lead a team is a valued skill uh, for engineers to have 
Leadership and management skills are extremely important if you want to succeed at team management. The good news uh, is that leadership skills can be learned via training, observation and practice. Learning when to mentor, when to give space, when and how to discipline, how to use a team member's strengths and acquiring other people's skills should be the goal, the very important goal for every engineer. The next one, the next skill is communication. Communication skills are twofold. The first deals with explaining concepts to clients and managers and translating from the technical to the mundane world. The second involves giving instructions to the team members uh, and other players uh, without robbing anyone uh, the wrong way. It's critical that engineers gain the ability to give excellent client presentation um, and write clear-cut non-ambiguous reports and emails. So engineers need to practice communication skills if they want to excel at interactions uh, with clients, colleagues, teammates and management. On the next position on our list, uh, in order to be a good engineer, you need to be committed and to have the desire to learn. All engineers must demonstrate their uh, desire to learn and their ability to commit to a plan. Young engineers uh, may not understand the seriousness um, of staying committed, but they soon learn that without these skills, the other skills don't matter. Commitment also means absorbing new technologies and keeping updated to your industry. Engineers help themselves uh, when they show that they can work effectively within the industry and improve it. In order to be a good engineer, the next skill is critical thinking and problem solving. Uh, engineering domain is rife with situation and require diligent problem solving. Engineers uh, must be able to approach every task and problem with a cool, unemotional, analytical mind. Um, they need to, to solve all kinds of aspects of a problem while taking minimum risks. Uh, problem solving is uh, an engineering process in which where each solution uh, is tested and modified. It is often necessary to test several solutions before deciding which is the best. The next skill on our list, in order to be a good engineer, you need to have attention to all kinds of details. Uh, engineering projects are often complex and engineers, uh, they need to consider a lot of details right from the concept of problem solving phases to the modeling and the testing phases. They need to focus and pay close attention to detail to ensure nothing critical gets lost in the process. In fact, the success or failure of any project often stays on the base of uh, serious attention to detail. The next skill in order to become a successful engineer, and finally the last one on our top 10, is giving and receiving feedback. Paraphrasing and uh, updating John Donne, uh, the 16th uh, century English poet, no one is an island, especially in the field of engineering. Engineers have to work as a part of a team, so it's important to be able to give and receive feedback without seeing red. Engineers must understand, so here is the next one. Uh, they must understand their team 
just as well as they understand their projects. Um, as one software bootcamp instructor puts it, providing honest, kind and uh, actionable feedback when working uh, in teams is, po is uh, only possible if you have empathy. And uh, this skill of uh, giving and receiving feedback is more often than uh, not the key difference between successful and unsuccessful projects. So, uh, as a conclusion, I could say that uh, there are several uh, other soft skill engineers should have, such as impersonal and collaborative skills, creativity and flexibility. The important thing, um, however, is the ability um, to realize that a single person cannot design an engineering marvel. It takes a team. And it takes a special skill to work effectively with people of uh, greater or less talent. All other soft skills uh, are part of uh, this overriding one. So that's it. If you like this video, do not forget to press the subscribe button and uh, why not maybe uh, share with uh, your friends. See you next time. Bye bye.